I believe that games are um, one of the most ancient forms of human culture. They might even be the most ancient form of human culture. I think it's possible, especially when we look at the way that other animals play, uh, that play as a cultural form might even predate um, spoken language. I think perhaps we were playing before we were verbal as a species. And of course, without spoken language, we may have codified our games in different ways. Instead of negotiating the rules of the game through language, we might have figured it out through gesture. And so there are interesting questions here for me. But needless to say, I think that uh, Games and play and our intelligence and the way that we perceive the world and act in the world are all very deeply entwined. When we think about modern games, whether that's board games or card games or video games, clearly something has cohered uh, around these ancient patterns of our being in the world. Uh, it's cohered around being able to write down the rules of a game that might become very complicated. Or when we think about games that might involve thousands of players at once in a massively multiplayer online game, uh, there are phenomena that can happen in these spaces that are quite new, quite distinctive, even though they're connected to these ancient forms. And regarding the issue of what games are in their essential character, whether they are to entertain us, uh, whether they might um, communicate something to us, whether they can be used for teaching or training, whether games can be an art form, which is an interesting debate that has unfolded, especially over the course of the last 10 years as we thought about video games as art. I think these are all interesting questions. Um, uh, I certainly think that because of the some of the specific ways that games seem to draw our participatory natures out of us, that they have some interesting opportunities uh, around these subjects. Um, uh, I think human beings are naturally very curious. We want to investigate, not just by looking at things, but by uh, picking things up and seeing what they can do, uh, interacting with them. And that obviously creates good opportunities for teachers. Uh, I think, you know, when I think about all of my favorite teachers in high school, they were people who really got the class involved and often in a hands-on way in the learning. Um, and uh, certainly that's a style that suits me well. But as a game designer with a capital G and a capital D, I wouldn't ever want to limit games by turning them towards one use or another. Uh, and I don't really think that games are a medium. I'm cribbing from my friend, uh, the NYU professor Frank Lance, when I say that rather than being a medium, uh, games are a cultural form. Um, and maybe even uh, before being a cultural form like the novel or ballet, um, they are kind of a space of communicative possibility that has uh, some particular characteristics but that can't be pinned down to any one particular form or style. Um, I think the important thing about a game is that it's a, a system that a human being can understand, at least partially, and begin to take part in leading the system towards one outcome or another. And when we think about this in terms of something like virtual reality, we can see just what an expansive, inclusive cultural form games has an opportunity to be.